Well, they were making bird feeders out of light covers. These are old, they're beautiful, um, old light covers. And when you're looking for these, find the very old ones. Um, they have three holes in them because that's how they used to attach them to the ceiling um, with chains. And I've got two here that I found. One I found at uh, the local Habitat Restore and the other one I found at a garage sale. Always a good source. And um, this goes together so easily because you basically operate on the concept um, that they were made for anyway. Um, what I did was I got a ceiling fan pole here on a chain. Um, you'll need a little rubber washer and then you'll need an extension of the ceiling fan pole. Um, and they actually, I found that they come in six foot lengths, so I ended up cutting um, a couple of them in half. And um, you may need some extra little uh, attachers, I guess, I don't know the technical term for those, but um, you may need a few extra of those if they don't come with your chains. And anyway, uh, and a pair of wire cutters. And that's pretty much all that you need. And what you do here is you take and slip the washer over your pull like that. So. And then you take and put, whoop, without breaking your cover here, your pull through. And this washer just helps cushion it so that you don't end up chipping it. And then what you do is you take your extension, let's see, to our other side here, and we'll just attach it there. So we've got one, and I'm just gonna set that inside. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I actually went ahead and attached these, and I'll run them through. Kind of strung everything together, like that. And we've got one more here. Now, if you can't find your light covers, that have three holes in them. You can do this with one of the light covers. You would just have to attach a piece of wire around it to put your holders onto. Okay, I've got all three here. And I'm gonna pull them up and then you can kind of figure out where you're going to hang this and then adjust the length of these accordingly. And I just, let's see here, get them level. There we go. And then what I can do is take an S hook and what I'll do with the wire cutters is remove the extra here. When I get it hung, I'm gonna have to size that in my tree. And then take an S hook and come through here. Just run it through where your knot is and put that in your tree. And you can figure out based on where you've got this, if it's sheltered, if it's windy, and how much sway you have in it, you would adjust how your length here, if you have a lot of sway, you're going to want to have it with less um, length on it. And then you just fill your feeder here. With your bird seed and hang it up in the tree. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.